right face. Belfry, I'm at the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse? Come on. You could appreciate the lengths I go to for you a little more, sir. Definitely need more of this. Belfry, I'm in. Time to listen in on some owls. Find out who's who. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. Ballroom's right there. No way all these people knew Bruce. Belfry, I'm in. Time to listen in on some owls. Find out who's who. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. Ballroom's right there. No way all these people knew Bruce. I'm telling you, if we can privatize healthcare in Gotham, we'll be richer than we ever imagined. I don't know. Not everyone is going to be able to afford it. Let's get those loans to make it happen. Trust me, they'll pay. Much as I'd like to stop and argue, I need to find the ballroom. Better 
take a look. There's I'll nothing. follow your lead. A trespasser! Belfry, they spotted me. they put this here again with your stupid theory you saw the elevator the hotel doesn't have a 13th floor spooky we'll impress the voice tonight i'm sure of it <laughs> belfry the security systems are down Nice. Don't forget, those guards are court members, so punch away. Look carefully! Don't let them play mind games! I know you're here! Show yourself immediately! Someone's in here! There we go. A way in. Belfry, I'm heading inside the ballroom. Nice work. Who, who's a member of the Court of Owls? Record everything you can. We can analyze it later. Staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? That's a few matches. We're gonna get them all. Did you hear about Langstroth's assistant? He deserved to be... let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Where is the voice? that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayors here. to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor. I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works.
business is good. Great, Ethan. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. Not so easy to hide now, is it? Tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. That really is the voice of the court. Good. Stay on him. We need to find out who he is. more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. take phone calls when I'm working.
arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. disappeared in an elevator. I lost him. I lost him too. He was between floors when the signal went out. Nightwing, we what just found a, a hidden 13th floor by. in the hotel blueprints. Ah, Maybe that's mind. where the voice went. Secret 13th floor, here I come. Belfry, I got a door here. Definitely court branded. Understood. Tread carefully. Court of Owls has to hide. The Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. This is a literal truth as we build our perfect nests below the skins of our perfect city. That's the old voice of the court on vinyl. They say an owl can turn its head all the way around to better see what is behind it, what might be trying to sneak up and strike. inside the walls around us. Our court whispering into each other's ears like Cyrano on a date with destiny.
Sorry to cut your meeting short, people. Now, what exactly were you looking at? But it certainly cannot be underestimated. It is a predator, after all. And so are we. some real damage to the court if we can get it to the authorities. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so life so never existed. We must send a message. You are only... Everyone named here. All these people are either dead or missing. This must be a hit list. Court. This is a history of Gotham's architecture. I guess the court was involved in all of these buildings. That's the Gotham Cathedral. Maybe this has something to do with the dates on that wall. These numbers must be the years the buildings were constructed or renovated. By the court, naturally. City Hall. GCPD Central. This is the courthouse.
Different types of power in the city. The court would want to control that. Of course. I should have known it was evil. Let's get this over with. Go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. I'm not letting you or the court destroy Gotham. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Yeah, sure. You're just like every other masked villain. I'm not the one wearing a mask. Richard. Jacob Kane. But how did you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just our court is quieter about it. People of Gotham may not be perfect, but they don't deserve this. You're destroying the city, not saving it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. I don't murder people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You killed Kirk Langstrom and his assistant. That doesn't help Gotham, that helps you. Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his money to fight for this city. You used it to help yourself. Bruce would have hated you for that. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. We are nothing alike, Kane. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. We should get back to the ballroom.
Shadows just crashed the party. Understood. Paramedics have been called. That's not possible. What's that?
Montoya. It's Nightwing. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. Saw it all firsthand. I was there. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? That was the League of Shadows. They're bad news. I'll send you our files. You okay, Clayface? You don't look good. Hey, Belfry, I got some of that weird clay for you to look at. Great. We'll see what that clay has to say when you're back. Man can't even get comfortable on his own roof. So Alfred tells me you've been working hard on your bat gadgets. Not so much bat gadgets as Nightwing implements. I'm still working on the name. But you know you're going to run into supply issues eventually, right? Robin can only find us so much, and they don't exactly carry some of our stuff at the hardware store. Tell you what, you keep busy with your superhero business, and I'll keep you supplied with components. You good with that? Good as gold, Lucius. Do you want to put me in cardiac arrest? So, where's Batman? He owes me a coffee. I'm afraid you're stuck with me now. Well, damn. Sorry. He really helped Mum and I out a lot. How is Leslie? It's been forever. She's fine, enjoying retirement, watches medical dramas to nitpick them. But there's still a shit ton of work to do here. For both of us. This city does not like to let you sleep. You've been helping people in Gotham, and that's great. So keep it up. Come visit me once in a while, and I'll pass on anything helpful I might find. Besides, Mum will send both of us to the ER if I don't keep an eye on your health. Then I won't be a stranger. Doctor's orders.
the slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. <sighs> the almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. There's new data on the evidence board. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the League without the cops stirring them up. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated. I don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well... I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure's constantly changing. It's... It's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides. Unstable phosphate groupings and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. What if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that.
can't believe Jacob knew Bruce was Batman all this time. He may have hoped that Master Bruce would eventually join the court, just as he offered to you. But most likely, he simply loved Master Bruce and wished to keep him safe. We cannot control who we love. Sometimes we love against our better judgment. Master Bruce knew that better than anybody. You mean Talia? I have known Jacob for many years. I may be questioning what I know about the man, but I do not doubt his love for his nephew. Even now. Jacob wanted answers for Bruce's death. If we don't find them first, I hate to think what he might do.
We've tracked Talia to a parking garage downtown, sending you the location now. Talia, you should have warned us. Your league, they killed so many people. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. Despite our best efforts, the voice is still around. Then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. The court and the League fight in the street, and Gotham pays in blood. If we're not there, how many die? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. Which is what? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. How do you even know so much about the talents anyway? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. Belfry, you get all that? I wish we hadn't, but yes. The last thing we need right now are stronger talents. The court's scary enough as it is. Great. I think it might be time we start shaking trees. See what falls down. <laughs> 